Welcome to my review of this amazing product, the Amazon Fire TV Stick, the second generation, com which comes with the Alexa voice remote. Uh, it, it's really amazing what you can do, all the functionality of this product. It's a powerful 4K streaming stick, and it will provide you with countless choices of movies, television, and using the Alexa voice remote, you can do almost anything, not just watch programming, but you can also, oh, get the weather, order pizza, um, you know, have, have the uh, television pull up uh, every movie with your favorite actor in it, etc. It's just uh, an incredible device. It's um, Ultra HD compatible, HRD 10 compatible, L Dolby Vision, LG, HLG, for all you techie types. Um, the remote is, is new, it's lighter, it's more functional. Everything you see here it comes with, that's a um, five foot cable for your power cable. It comes with the uh, doggle and the doggle extension, the doggle extension, which uh, I'll get into. Um, comes with a fire stick and the remote, instruction manuals, and the outlet plug and batteries for your remote. Um, it simply plugs into your HDMI port in the back of your TV. Most new TVs, uh, I think every new TV within the last, oh, I don't know how many years, 10 years maybe, has the HDMI port. Um, you could select on your screen when you go into your regular television system. Um, Usually there's like three choices for the HDMI. I use HDMI 3, but you can just choose that through your uh, the systems on whatever type of TV you have. <clears throat> As you see, the uh, Fire Stick just, it's only a few inches long and it uh, inserts right into the back of the TV as shown there. And then with your uh, five foot cable, you can go ahead and just plug that into your um, electrical outlet. I use an extension plug and this is the extension they call it an actual antenna but it is an extension um, or an extender an HDMI extender which makes it a little bit easier and more maneuverable um, rather than fitting the whole stick in the back of the TV if you have problems with that or that's hard to do for some reason you can just use this extension um, that's how I set it up here um, it simply plugs in to the fire stick and away you go you're all set very simple uh, to plug in and stick in the back of your TV it's optional you don't have to use it but you certainly can um, and I'm showing here how it just goes right in the fits right in the back just like the fire stick it's 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 uh, you'll see it's very easy to use and uh, it gives you a little more versatility uh, that's what I'm using. They say it acts somewhat as a antenna, which I don't, I don't know exactly what they mean, but um, maybe it gives you a little more range or something. Um, the remote, it comes with a, a new enhanced uh, small, but very ergonomically uh, designed remote. Um, go over the features, but here in the back, uh, you just kind of, it's a little tricky, but you just kind of slide off the, the plastic sheath and go ahead and um, place your two uh, your two batteries in there, your two um, AA batteries that come with it, or or your own AA batteries for that matter. So you have the power button on top, and then that's the uh, button for the Alexa, which I'll be demonstrating, which is amazing. Um, that's the uh, controller ring um, with the OK button in the middle. If you're used to other controllers, let you go forward, back, or whatever, and um, that returns to the home screen. You have the the first button that will return to your previous screen, and then the second button is a home button, and the third button there is a text button. So when you uh, play around with it, you'll see you can get things text instead of the icons. Those are not normal forward and reverse and stop and play buttons, and then your volume control and your mute. If you want to mute your sound on the bottom there. And the um, up on top is the actual microphone at the very top I'm pointing at right there, which, uh, util which you utilize with the Alexa feature. 
Um, that Alexa is really cool because uh, it can do things besides, like I said, besides anything to do with just the TV. Um, you can ask, what's the weather in, in Miami today? Or, and it'll tell you. you know, it's pretty cool. Very smart uh, application. And so when you go in, you first set up, um, you go in and set up your fire stick, and that's a very easy process. Um, again, for 39 bucks, I, I highly recommend this, this uh, device, this fire stick, um, fire TV stick. It's a great, great, uh, for the money, it really is a, a great little uh, device for streaming. Um, in, you know, usual setup features, it's going to ask you, um, you know, choose your language, it'll scan for your networks. Uh, let's see here. Um, so I pick my, uh, you know, I'll pick my network, go through this um, just by entering that OK button in the middle of the circle there. And then um, just like so many other, you know, just like a smart TV, you know, you're going to have to put in your um, passwords and your user IDs. Um, OK, so it's going to ask you if you already have and a uh, Amazon account or if you're new to Amazon and it will let you set it up right on the screen I believe for the new people I already have an Amazon so I didn't have to do that um, it may be easier for you to already set up your Amazon account if you don't have one on your laptop or desk computer and I already had one for the last few years so I didn't need to do that and then it's just gonna ask for your if you just if you already have one or you're setting up you know your login It'll give you a verification code. You guys are probably all familiar with that from so many different things, different devices um, that you have. It'll just uh, shoot it over to either your smartphone or, or your uh, email, whichever way you've set it up. And you just put in the code. And OK, so it's going to automatically register for you. Um, everything's so streamlined and simple. It's, it's really great. Um, then that's me. Go ahead and continue. With the account, um, just self-explanatory. You know, I won't spend too much time on all this stuff. Um, very, uh, very similar to many other, like setting up your smart TV. This uh, device, uh, oh, it asks you about parental controls. Um, I tell you, I, was, I have a Netflix account, and I, I, there's so many free cable shows and movies. I'm almost thinking of canceling Netflix, although I still like Netflix. And it's going to always update, check for updates. Um, really simple to get started. And it connects to your, your Amazon account. Um, plays this little, nice little pretty chime while you're waiting. And oh, this is a cool feature. So it's going to, first thing it does is it kind of um, asks you if you want to upload photos to your screensaver. And then it will take you to, uh, it'll actually show you on the TV screen the app that you need to download from your app store. It works for either iPhone or, or droids. And um, it's, a, it's an app, so it'll shoot all your uh, photos from your, uh, or whatever photos you want, onto your screensaver from your, your smartphone. And uh, that's kind of self-explanatory. You don't need to spend too much time with that. So here's the, uh, um, this is when it's cool. So it's, you get countless um, choices of apps to use and upload and download. Some require subscriptions, you know, some do not. It's going to, of course, want to sell the, uh, the Amazon Prime service. Um, other services have a cost or they do not. There are plenty of free apps and movies and television it was really really outstanding not that old either pretty contemporary that was free but it just lets you go through and download all types of uh, of movie tv news um, sports app sports apps um, i like college football so i was uh, inclined to um, see the different apps and then you can just choose them and you can order the uh, the device from clicking the link below below the video directly from Amazon um, here I, I when I ordered I when I wanted to download um, apps I chose ESPN and uh, CBS Sports and I'll try that Fubo maybe Hulu I guess they have sports now too and I don't like pro football I just like college football I know pro football NFL is pretty popular but that's just not my thing 
I enjoy college football. So I chose a bunch of apps there. Um, I mean, it has everything, news too, and um, just all kinds of movie and television apps. One of the coolest and most interesting features of the Fire Stick with Alexa is the Alexa. I'll show you how that works. You just press the uh, microphone button, that button there, the little light comes on. Alexa, show me all movies with Tom Hanks, the actor in the movie. And all the Tom Hanks movies come up. So pretty cool, pretty cool feature. You can really get detailed what you want, what you want Alexa to do and what you want it to search. Even if it has nothing to do with the, with the actual uh, movies. Let's try another one. Alexa, show me the temperature today in San Diego, California. Right now, in San Diego, California, it's 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 53 degrees. Pretty cool, I'd say.